it looks like this is another uh, fight setup chapter. Basically, the four Dark Stars were separated with the, uh, the A-team of uh, Eden Zero. Instead of being a group battle, which is what I thought it would be, uh, they were they were all going to fight individually. I would refer to group battle, but it seems like the we're gonna our group battle is going to be with uh, Dead and Crow. So at least we still have that. <laughs> But we'll get to that in a second. So, Killer2 has an ability to create basically pocket dimensions, where he then uses it to basically send everyone to an area where each four of the stars preferred uh, battlegrounds are. Now, the smartest way to use Killer Mark II's ability like this is to send everyone to their own dimensions, like like I said, they like he did, but to then just gang up on each individual member of the crew, of the Eden Zero crew. But instead, uh, it seems that they just they each pick their target and that's the person they want to fight. The reason why I say they each uh, pick their target and that's the person they want to fight is because, in a sense, one of them actually just straight up says that. Brigadin and Homura are left uh, in the Coliseum because Brigadin prefers to fight there over anywhere else. And he says that he is the counterpart of, counterpart of Valkyrie. And since she, and since Homura is the second Valkyrie, he would like to test his medal against her. He then declares that he is the Shield of Edens. Weiss is sent to what seems to be an abandoned hospital or scientific lab. And the one apparently he's going to fight is uh, Killer. Killer uh, introduces himself as the brains of Edens. And then uh, Weiss then introduces himself as the, the flame of Edens. So Rebecca, Pina, and Happy are all sent to a circus. Obviously their opponent is the clown. But the thing is, uh, Pina and uh, Happy are just trapped in a cage. Which means... That they really just wanted to fight these people because if they could just be teleported into a cage, then they could have all been teleported into a cage and trapped. They could have just done that from the start. And there might be a reason for that, which I'll get to at the end when I get done explaining who everyone's fighting. There's only one person left. left. And that last fight is Shiki and Wizard. Shiki is, of course, teleported, apparently, back to uh, Graham Bell. Or an, an illusion of Graham Bell, isn't it? And uh, everyone's there, Michael and everyone who cares about the king. And they're all saying, we missed you, how much you've grown, oh my god, uh, look at that. And then Chiki, of course, doesn't believe any of it. He knows it's all an illusion, he knows it's all fake. And he's getting slowly pissed off and all, so just in pain. And then Witch appears, obviously another illusion. She walks over to him, gives him a hug, and... Chiggy almost gets broken by this, but then immediately tries to punch Witch in the face, knowing that she's a fake. And of course, she catches it because it's Wizard. And now, I personally believe that the reason why they wanted to fight all these people individually is because they want to lose. And this goes back to the beginning of the chapter, where they're talking about hearts and how the four Dark Stars don't have any hearts. Because they are just programmed to do whatever Ziggy wants. And so they can't fulfill their own will. That's when Shiki says, I am going to free all of you. So what I'm theorizing is, is that there is a slight spark in all of them that wishes to rebel against Ziggy. But of course they can't because, once again, they've been programmed otherwise. So I think this is the way for them to follow their programming, but also to kind of disobey it slightly enough. So this way, if they can lose a fight then that'd be good for them because then they could then actually be deprogrammed and saved. It would explain why they didn't just trap everyone in another dimension where they can't escape or why they didn't all gang up on an individual, one, people at, one person at a time because I think the Dark Stars want to lose. They just can't actively make themselves lose because that would be going against their programming. Now, if this is true and they can be unprogrammed, what will happen to the four Dark Stars? <laughs> will they then join the Eden Zero? Because I'm not really interested in that. It seems that we already have way too many people on the crew already. If we keep growing it like this, it's just going to be overboard. But I guess they could just be a, a group of allies that could be helpful for the final mission or whatever. I don't really know what that would be. Well, obviously that's Finding Mother, but there has to be some big thing later on because of the whole premonition about Shiki from uh, Z that's been going on. Like, Shiki's going to be destroyer of everything. So, <laughs> maybe they'll evolve that. But, uh, either that, or they're all going to turn to scrap metal, which, yeah, that's not really saving them, that's straight up just killing them. I can't imagine Shiki would say that he would save them, and then immediately kill all of them. So I do believe that they're probably going to be reprogrammed, or deprogrammed. 
so this way they can be uh, free from uh, Ziggy's control. As for the rest of the crew, they've engaged with uh, Dead and Crow. They're all in, currently in combat with him. He apparently can have he has laser vision, which is really cool. <laughs> A giant robot with laser vision. But uh, everything, all their attacks seem to have no effect on him, no matter what they fire him with. So they're probably gonna have to figure out some other way to destroy him. But they did send in uh, Holy in, in their mech. It's called the Steel Sorceress, and it's clearly based off of Witch. So this is either Witch's mech or it's a mech based off of the, as a memorial to Witch. Either way, apparently its suit comes with a boo pocket. This way you can always stare at <laughs> at uh, Holy's cleavage. So Holy seems fully dedicated in taking down Dead End Crow. The question is, when does her plan to betray them get kicked into gear? Is it before or after they finish off Dead End Crow? Because <laughs> that's been hinted at for a while now, but when is it going to happen? Is she going to wait until Dead End Crow is defeated? Because that would make the most sense, because she really hates the guy. It, but you can never be surprised when a twist happens. I mean, twists are just a part of storytelling after all. But even if she does betray them, like I said in a few other reviews, I don't think she, it's going to stick. I think she's going to then reverse her betrayal and actually ally with the Eden Zero. Okay, that's my review. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, give a thumbs up, and for so you can have more Eden Zero and other anime things. Thank you, and have a great day.